The time check right now is 6.03. Would you be able or be willing to leave your family and your friends to be one of the first people to colonize Mars? Well, this time last year, we introduced you to one Austin woman, Sonia Van Meter, who says, yeah, she wants to do that. And we just found out a few hours ago, she's now made it to the third round of applicants and is now one step closer to the first manned mission to Mars. Well, Alicia Inns has a closer look at her journey so far. Good morning. Good morning, Brian and Sally. 202,000 applicants. That's how many people originally applied for this project. And this morning, that playing field narrowed to just 100 hopefuls who've been selected to proceed to the next round of the Mars One astronaut selection process and Sonia Van Meter is one of them. Now the Mars One mission is a privately funded journey to colonize the red planet. When we talked to her last year, Sonia told us she has no traditional space or science background. She's just a space junkie. Well, she studies sociology and works at a political consulting firm, but she says this is her life's ambition, even if she has to leave behind everyone she loves, because this is a one-way trip. This is an extraordinary opportunity to become part of a legacy stretching from Magellan and Christopher Columbus all the way to Neil Armstrong and, and Buzz Aldrin. Who wouldn't want to be a part of that? Now, Sonia's husband, believe it or not, is supportive of this dream. That trip still nine years away, though, and the finalists will be slashed to just four people out of that top 100. And coming up, I'm going to break down the timeline, give you a better roadmap of this mission, and the challenges that Sonia could face living on an entirely different planet. That's all new in the next half hour, Brian. I'm sure that's a long list. Okay, thanks, Alicia. Well, the candidates for the Mars One mission come from all around the world. Most of them come from the Americas. That's followed by Europe and then Asia, along with people from Africa and Oceania. And once the group is picked and the training is over, according to the Mars One website, it will then be up to you and the rest of the world to vote on who will be in the first group sent to Mars.